Hey guys, it's Chili here. In this video, I'm going to go over the install procedure for Visual Studio 2017. You see, back in my day when I recorded Tutorial Zero of the Beginner Series back in August 2016, all we had was Visual Studio 2015, and that's the way we liked it, dag nabbit. Uh, but since the new fangled Visual Studio 2017 has popped, and all you young whippersnappers want to play with the new shiny Visual Studio, I guess I gotta make this video. Uh, actually, the transition from 2015 to 2017 is pretty smooth. The interface is mostly the same, and the code is fully compatible, so the tutorials are fine the way they are, and they should work great with Visual Studio 2017 as well. But there are some differences in the install screen for 2017, and there is a small step needed when opening framework code in 2017 for the first time. Uh, all in all, it's pretty easy, but it might just be enough to trip up a complete beginner. So I'm gonna make this video to guide your hips. All right, let's get started. So in this tutorial series, whenever you want to get something, you want to get some download, same process. You go to the video, so I assume you're, you've are you already seen Tutorial Zero, at least partly. Uh, and you go there, you can go into the description of this video or the video that you're currently watching, and you go to the wiki page. So everything is going to be on the wiki, downloads and shit. And you look here, you see there's an important notice about Visual Studio 2017. And if you go down here to download links, you got the download link for 2015 and 2017. So you click this, and then that should take you to the download page for 2017. You wait, you get this thing, you go run. And that'll run the installer for Visual Studio 2017. You could also just, you know, Google Visual Studio download and that would work just fine. But generally, just go to the wiki page, all the resources are going to be on there. It's your one-stop shop. Now you got to wait for a while. I'm doing this on a uh, on a virtual machine so that I can show you the installation on a on a machine that has not had Visual Studio 2015 installed on it yet. Uh, so it might be a little slower, but you get this page here. And this is your top-down view of generally what you want to be doing. You click these boxes. And now most of these you don't need. You can click them if you like, but it's going to make your installation a lot bigger. So I recommend keeping it lean. You need desktop development because that's that's the main kind of development for C++ native applications in Windows. And that's what we're going to be doing. So click this one. Uh, the rest of it, you can just leave this shit all clean. This game stuff, this isn't anything to do with us. I mean, you can install Unity. You can install other things but if you want to install unity you could just install it like separately as well which might even be a better idea i don't know but uh yeah all this other stuff is optional and not really needed then go to individual components this is important because there's some extra things you want to get in there net forget about it database server don't need it code tools there's a few things in here they might be useful and they're pretty small Click class designer because it's only like 10 megabytes, right? Uh, dependency validation, I don't know. Git for Windows and GitHub extension, definitely get these. Super good tools. And you want the NuGet package manager because I've got some tutorials that use this. Uh, what else is there? No, standard library modules. Click this one, it's small. It's not that big and I might be using it in the future. Uh, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need that. Now, wait, there was maybe one thing that I wasn't sure about. What do we got here? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going here. Debugging and testing. Uh, get the profiling tools. They might be useful. I might do a video on that later on. All right, development activities. Don't need any of this stuff not useful google emulator no games graphics no just keep this one you need it for something else and where is windows 10 sdk so yeah got that visual c plus plus atl support you don't really need this but i'll leave it in How, what's the difference it's not that different yeah leave it in just doesn't matter. Graphics tools, for, yeah, okay, whatever. So, these are the things that you should be checking off. 
so that you can follow you know most of my videos you can always go back and add more things or remove things later on so it's not a big deal if you mess something up a little bit uh, but in general these settings will get you going put your whatever languages you want to put in and you put in there and you install that fucker this is 6.9 gigabyte install size so it's gonna take a while to download it's gonna take a while to install and I will be back when uh, when you know when this shit is all done well it looks like my shit installed but now I need to reboot my VM so let's do that all right, once the machine has rebooted, we should be able to run Visual Studio 2017. So let's give that a shot here. Now, you don't have to sign in here right now, but um, after you install this, after I think 30 days, you won't be able to use Visual Studio unless you create an account. It's free, so it's not a big deal. But uh, just know that if you don't sign in, you'll have to sign in at some point to register your... Um, Visual Studio community. So I'll do not now, maybe later. Uh, now I prefer the dark theme. You can go with whatever you like. Uh, development settings, we'll put that to C++. And start Visual Studio. This may take a few minutes. Understatement of the year, I don't know. The installation took me what? Like 20 minutes about. So this is something, this is basically what you should see when you first start it up. Something like this, right? Okay. So, now, we want to open up the framework, because that's what we're going to be working with. We don't, uh, we don't mess with this. So, let's close this up again. And we're going to go to the wiki page for tutorial zero. So, I'll go wiki.planetchili.net. And I'll go beginner. Beginner. Zero setup. We'll skip this. And we want to go to the downloads, the framework download. So we're gonna save this. Uh, shit, I wanted to I wanted to pick my location. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna drag this to the desktop. Please, thank you. And a very important step. I may I noticed I noted this in the, uh, the tutorial zero video. I'm gonna do it again. Fucking extract that shit. Don't open it from here. I will punch you in the face if you try to open it from here. Always extract and then open from the folder. So. Then you just double click on the uh, the SLN file here, and it should open it up in Visual Studio 2017. First, you get this thing when you download projects from the internets. Uh, it'll give you a warning. You just go OK, and it'll load the project. Now, here is the important thing: retarget projects, because the uh, the original the the framework was made in Visual Studio 2015. You've got to update it to your current version. So you gotta make sure that this is set to Visual Studio version 141 and Windows SDK has to be set to 10. Uh, if you remember when we installed there was an option for 10 and 8 and if you only installed 10 then you must upgrade this thing to 10. It's the only option. Now if you click cancel you're you're dumb. Don't do that. Click OK. You wanna, you wanna retarget this shit you click OK. And if you do that if you do that, shit should work, and you should, you know, be able to uh, build it, and it should build fine. One failed. You are making a fucking liar out of me, Visual Studio. I said that this would work, and it's not working, and now I'm mad, but apparently other people are having this problem too, so let's take a look here. What is it? <sighs> uh... So, error. The Windows SDK version of 8.1 was not found. Now, you saw you saw me, right? I specifically selected 10, and I said, do the 10, and it did not do the 10. So, apparently, Visual Studio was fucking up. It, it does that sometimes, but this is okay. This gives me an opportunity to show you what to do when shit goes wrong. You right-click here. You go, Properties. This will give you the properties for the uh, for the project. Now, Windows SDK version 8.1, no, no, no. You want to shit. You want to put that shit to 10, which is what that fucking auto dialogue should have done, but didn't do, because I don't know, because fucking bullshit. So, build. Now this should work. Yeah, so far so good. It's working. It's building. It's building very slow because I'm, you know, again, I'm on a virtual machine here, but. 
Uh, there we go. One succeeded, zero failed. That's great. If you try to build it again, you will get zero succeeded, one up to date, which is also great. As long as you don't get failed, you're good to go. Uh, so, and then you can just run it. And what you should get, and I've never done this on, okay. Well, okay, this is not going to work because I'm running this on a virtual machine. Um, and the virtual machine doesn't support 3D graphics. See, DirectX unsupported. So you won't be able to see, but it, you should get a black screen when you run this, and not this error. Uh, so yeah, that's how you that's how you do. One more thing, um, back in this in properties here, uh, what you want? Oh, one th first of all, one thing uh, when we changed. No, wrong one. Go to properties. When we changed this SDK version to ten. Uh, what I should have done here is right now we're only changing it for release Win32, but we want to change it for all configurations and all platforms. So just make sure you're changing it for all things. Change all the things. And uh, the other thing is there's two things I could fuck up. The Windows SDK version, which we I've just gone over, and also the, uh, the platform tool set. So this could be set to 140. And you want to make sure it's set to 141. So if you get an if you get an error about the platform tool set, you want to change this setting. If you want to give you an error about the SDK, you want to change this setting. Click OK. And again, everything should build fine. Yeah, no problems. Everyone's happy. And that's basically all there is to it. There might be some other wrinkles with using Visual Studio 2017 plus the framework in the tutorials. I don't know. I, I'll I'll get that information as people run into problems. Uh, what, the important thing for you to remember is always check the wiki page because that's where I'm going to put the information about, you know, like, hey, shit has changed since I made this video. Be aware of it. So always check the tutorial uh, wiki page to get the most update information and, you know, you know, errors, bug fixes, whatever. Uh, and if you do that, everything should be fine. You can use Visual Studio 2017, you can use Visual Studio 2015. And that's the installation for Visual Studio 2017. Uh, if you didn't finish watching Tutorial Zero, uh, make sure you go back and watch it to the end and do the homework for Tutorial Zero and then you're ready to proceed to Tutorial One. And you know, if you have any problems, as always, uh, you can message me in the comments if it's something really simple, I might be able to help you there. But usually it's better to go to www.planetchili.net. You've got all my links here. You can talk to me on the Discord. You can talk to me on the forum and you can get some good help there. That's it for today and I will see you soon with some more C++.